So if we want to divide 0 0.75 here by 10, there are two ways to do it. One is just to think of it as 0 0.75 over 10 like this. So when we do that, you can imagine there's a decimal point here after the whole number. If we move this over one here to the left, we need to move this over one here to the left. And now you have 0 0.075 over one, and that just equals 0 0.075. That's one way to do it. And you could check that if you multiplied 0 0.075 times 10, you'd get the original answer 0 0.75. The other way to do it is with long division. Let's give that a try. So again, we wanna know how many times 10 goes into 0 0.75. So you could move the decimal place over here one if you put a zero and a point here, but 10 doesn't go into seven either. So I'm just gonna move it over one more and then put a zero here. So now 10 goes into 75 seven times. Seven times 10 is 70. We subtract and we get five, move over one, call this 50, and five times 10, that gives us 50, so we subtract no remainder there. So again, it's the same answer. When we divide 0 0.75 by 10, we get 0 0.075. Well, that's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.